Hey guys, I'm Jeff the Homestead Dad, and welcome back to the Homestead. Today I got something to use off of the Homestead. It is a kayak that is new to me, not new. I very seldom buy things new. More often than not, I'll go on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. So the nearest Craigslist to us is Ann Arbor. Hadn't been finding any uh, kayaks there that were worth buying. I wanted a big kayak like this. This is a 500 pound capacity kayak. Um, so I looked in Detroit, which is a little bit east of us. We used to live closer to Detroit. Now we live further away. Um, and I found this for sale. Now, new, these things are between $550 and $650 plus a paddle, which you'd need to buy. Um, I got this for 400 and part of the reason is that it ha it needs a little bit of work. So this seat some of the straps are not perfect uh, to hold it upright. And then I've also heard there's a problem with this seat where it kind of goes from the high function, which is where I'd be wanting to sit it, down into the bottom level. Um, and I think with a little bit of wire, I'm gonna be able to fix that. But the bigger problem, hey, Josh, you wanna flip this over for me? Keep the seat off for a second. I should've told you that, I'm sorry. Can you it back off? Um, can you flip it for me? Is, I think somebody either um, dragged it and, um, well, first of all, so this spot right here, you can see somebody kind of dragged it here. And if you bang on it, it's solid, but it feels a little bit softer than the rest of it. But this right here is the problem. So I think somebody dropped it and cracked this right here. They had been using some Flex Seal to uh, fix that. I've been doing a little bit of researching on YouTube, of course. And I think what you can do is take a five gallon bucket, cut a piece out of it, take a torch and soften this, and then soften the five gallon bucket piece. And you kind of meld them together with a uh, flathead screwdriver. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that. And probably while I'm at it, I'm gonna try it on front where it's already been scraped so that it's double thick there. But this is a really nice, let me turn the camera around. I'm gonna show you why I, uh, I'm pretty happy with this purchase. So the it's a Sun Dolphin Boss 12 SS. Um, it has four handles, one here, two in the middle there, and then one on the front. It's got a big area in back here where I could put a um, milk crate with fishing stuff or a cooler or whatever. The seat goes right here. And I think what you do is you put a, some wire on these two brackets to kind of hold them together so that the seat can't flip down into the smaller spot. That's what we're gonna try anyway. There's a dry um, storage right there. It goes to all the way underneath. So that dry storage and that dry storage are connected to each other. Um, I've seen them new where they have, a, uh, oops, sorry. They have like a, a basket that inserts here and kind of holds things from getting on the bottom so that if water got in here, it would stay above the water. Um, I think I'll just, I've got some dry bags that I'll probably just put in there and I think it'll be fine. Um, and then it has this pull assist handle right here. So you can stand up, um, from everything that I've read and seen in reviews, this is supposed to be like ridiculously stable, which for a bigger guy like me is pretty important. So foot pegs, um, the track system there where I can mount a GoPro, or a rod holder, you can see there's a, um, uh, what are these called, Scotty mounts. There's one here already. And then there's one, two, three, four fishing rod holders already. So this kayak for our family will be perfect because right now, if we wanted to go someplace, if we wanted to go kayaking on a river or go to a lake and kayak, we have enough kayaks to do that with this one now. We have an orange, a uh, tandem kayak that my wife could use and could take um, our four-year-old daughter on. I could take this one and our almost two-year-old son on that. And then we have a couple of the four-foot ones that are great for kids that um, the seven-year-old and nine-year-old could use. And then we have three or four other ones that the, the older kids could use. So we have enough kayaks. We don't have a way to transport them all, but I think we could probably put them on my utility trailer right there and just strap them down. This one is gonna be too long to fit on there. 
maybe i think that's well it'd be really close because this is 12 feet and that's 12 feet so we'll see with the sides on it, it might just work but this is going to be i mean when we go to my parents lake i could sit in the seat and jonah our seven-year-old could sit up here in the front and i could take him fishing across the lake um i could just take it out and you know go fishing myself so I'm pretty psyched about this. If you have this kayak, or I think there's an Ozark Trail version that's just about the same, um, let me know. But I'm super psyched because like I said, it's supposed to be extremely, extremely stable. And it's long enough that I can, you know, if I wanted to go someplace with it, uh, I've got plenty of space for camera equipment if I'm gonna video it, or coolers and snacks or whatever. So I'm pretty psyched. And then obviously we'll be doing videos when I go ahead and try to, um, add to the front and fix the back more like i said that flex seal is probably okay for a couple uses uh, but at some point i'll probably try to scrape that off and make a more permanent seal with a piece of five gallon bucket so thanks so much for watching guys let me know what you think let me know if i made a bad purchase or if you think i made a good purchase or somewhere in between but um yeah i think uh, i think this would be good what do you think josh Josh helped me um, load it up. It's not. It's actually not that heavy for the size of kayak it is. It's um. It's probably like 70 or 80 pounds. Um, but for a 12 foot kayak that'll hold 500 pounds, that I consider that to be pretty good. So, thanks so much for watching. God bless you and your family as He has so richly blessed ours. And I will see you guys in the very next video.